In this video, I will tell you how to keep your ground truth, your annotations, consistent for deep learning based image analysis project for pathology. Hi, I'm Alexandra Zhurav, and this video is a part of a webinar I co-hosted with Aphoria. Aphoria is an image analysis company that uses artificial intelligence for tissue image analysis. And the whole webinar is packed with annotation tips and tricks for deep learning. And I'm going to leave the link to the full thing in the description below. But now let's dive into how to keep your ground truth consistent when developing a deep learning model for pathology. Being wrong is OK, but staying wrong is not. And so at the beginning of my annotation career, you remember it was just for machine learning, uh, classical machine learning with uh, feature definitions. I would train people to annotate. I would provide trainings, extensive trainings to my colleagues so that we could scale up uh, our annotations. So, well, as much as you can scale up something that you have to do manually for each slide. But we had a larger team and it was possible because there were a limited number of things that we were annotating. We were annotating the tumor mass, so I would train how a tumor mass looks. Then we would annotate immunohistochemistry stained cells. They were mostly stained with DAB, with the brown pigment for IHC. So that was also easy. Immune cells are round and brown. I was able to train my colleagues on that. And I was proud of my trainings and I was proud that, you know, I taught people and we could do it together. And then deep learning came again, the deep learning, the game changer. And the number of problems that could be now solved with this new way of doing image analysis um, increased exponentially. So it was no longer possible to train people on the annotations for every single class that we were annotating. The rules changed. And it took me a couple of projects to realize that the rules changed and, and um, I would have spurred myself a couple of arguments in meeting where I thought, no, this is the way you should annotate and you should agree at the beginning and uh, then stick to it. It's just not the case with deep learning. And it's okay because you don't have to annotate correctly from the get-go, but you should not stay wrong. So for deep learning, creating a, a good ground truth set is an iterative process, like we've seen uh, in what Lindsay just showed. And this iterative process consists of correcting incorrect annotations and of adding more annotations in the challenging regions. So this is an iterative process and you basically communicate with the model. It's not anymore about, uh, oh, these are our rules. We stick to the rules no matter what. Because if you annotate in one way and then you see that the model is not learning well from that, you might need to change the way of uh, how you annotate. Or let's say um, you're annotating in a scientifically correct way. Like on this example here, most of what I annotated is tumor, right? And often you don't realize uh, that there is a mistake and then you have to go back and especially when you're working with our people who are helping you, it's kind of a team effort. Team consists of the people who are annotating with you and the model is part of the team because it gives you feedback constantly. You start with few, you see how, how it performs, you can use the tools, which is fantastic because otherwise you would have to like look for this on your own. And uh, this process of correcting is uh, called sample mining. It can be either positive mining or negative mining, where you mine for the classes that are true positives, true negatives, performing well, or where you also adjust the, the number of your samples. But basically, this is an integral part of a deep learning model development process. And um, I'm happy I can share this message with you because as I said, it took me a couple of projects to figure out that it's a different way of annotating. And it's okay to have this iterative process, but the goal is at the end, you have consistent ground truth and you don't uh, go back and forth. Super important when you have more people annotating. I'm going to link a few other videos with tips and tricks in the cards. But if you want to watch the full webinar with all the tips and tricks, 
And with the demonstration of the Aphoria platform, really in-depth demonstration of how to apply those tips and tricks, be sure to click the link in the description below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there.